What's up, y'all? Welcome. I want to shoot a video which some folks may not understand. But maybe I can help you understand it. The message is stop begging God because you don't have to. Some folks think that they say something enough times that maybe God would hear them. First things first, ain't nobody strong arming or forcing God to do nothing. God can't be reasoned with, but you ain't gonna make God do nothing. You can't guilt trip God, you can't lie to God, you ain't gonna beg him to do nothing. He know what you need before you ask him already. He know your heart desires. So that's one reason you don't have to beg God. Another reason you don't have to beg God is because just because God is good, that doesn't mean that he's not allowed to say no. He's allowed to say no. You won't get everything that you want from God. You won't get everything that you want in general, in life, in existence. All right? And for those who've been on the Bible Takeaways, which I've been doing, we had did James, and it said that when you guys ask, you ask amiss. Because you ask to consume it upon your lust. So some folks think that because they ask God for something that they want, and they know God can give all things to anybody who wants to give it to. They, they can ask him for anything that they want, regardless of the reason. And that's just not true. You ask for what you want. If there's a good reason, a good cause behind it, you have a better chance of getting what you want. Now, even though God makes it rain on the just and the unjust, you being in good standing with God, you have a better chance of getting what you want as well. But you don't have to beg God. God is not like us. He doesn't need reminders. You don't have to remind God of nothing. All right? He knows what you want. He knows what you need. And he'll do things accordingly. Now, God isn't bound by space and time. And that's why we have a scripture. I forgot which book it is. It says, although it will tarry, it will not tarry. Which means that when you ask God for something and he gives it to you, it may not be perfect timing to you. It may seem like it will take a while to get to you, but you will get it and will be on and it will be on time. All right. Now, every good gift that is perfect comes from above, comes from God himself. That's called a miracle or a blessing. That's what miracles and blessings are. So when you asking God for something, you're not asking another human being for something. You're asking the Almighty for some of what he got and what he gives out is blessings and miracles. So it's going to take time anyway. Well, on our part. And then when you do get what you need or what you want from God, by the time it happens, you will realize if you're honest with yourself that you was probably just being impatient and everything worked out fine anyway. Because that's what we do. We wait until our backs are against the walls, our backs are against the wall or we wait last minute or when we stressed out and we don't know what to do, we start praying and asking God for help. And because his mercies endure forever, he helps us out. But he don't need to be begged. He don't need to be reminded. And then some folks, if anybody got any questions, if you just have a person to ask questions, you might ask, okay, all right, what you say makes some sense. So what do I do? You get yourself in position to receive your blessings. That's what you do. Because if God gives you something, but you don't take, if God gives you something, but you don't be careful, means full of care. If you don't be careful, then you can lose your blessings. If you don't treat your blessings right, it's going to be a waste. So get yourself in position for God's blessings and for a miracle to happen in your life. But you don't have to keep reminding God. You don't have to beg God. You know what I'm saying? You stressed out, not him. All right. And then in the meantime, patience would be you just waiting. Just wait. Just wait. Because if things don't happen the way you want them to happen, you're still going to be okay anyway. I know because I'm speaking from me having experience with this. So I'm telling you, from me having experience, everything's going to be okay. And this ain't going to sound like much of a consolation, but it is. You, you're not dead. Like for real. You might have to go without you might have to go without, but you don't have to beg God and remind God. You might have to go without, but you'll be okay. He'll look out for you. All right? With that being said, outro.